Hey, Lakers Nation! Check out this news that's going to intrigue you. Imagine Paul George, who just left the Clippers, playing for the Lakers alongside LeBron and Anthony Davis. Well, this idea almost became a reality, and it was revealed by his father, Paul George Sr., in the latest episode of his son's podcast. Don't forget to leave a like and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever there's news about your team. Paul George Sr. disclosed that they seriously considered the Lakers as an option for his son. He even said, I thought about going to the neighbor, but the team had already spent too much money. In other words, it was indeed a salary cap issue. To bring George in, the Lakers would have had to make a sign and trade with the Clippers, which was practically impossible. After all, the rivalry between the two teams is too intense for such a trade to happen. Now, imagine this, the Golden State Warriors even tried to persuade the Clippers to make the trade, but of course, the Clippers refused. They didn't even want to entertain the idea of seeing George play for a rival in the Western Conference, especially the Lakers or the Warriors. And to make things even more tense, George Sr. commented that they felt betrayed by the Clippers. He dropped this bombshell, I think Paul did a lot for the team, but they stabbed us in the back. Heavy, right? Now, let's imagine. What if Paul George had joined LeBron and Anthony Davis? The Lakers would undoubtedly be one of the favorites for the title again. And it makes sense because George has always been a Lakers fan, grew up idolizing Kobe Bryant, and was born in Palmdale, close to Los Angeles. But in the end, Paul George, at 34 years old, ended up with the Philadelphia 76ers, where he signed a massive four-year, $212 million contract. With this move, the Sixers have formed a new big three with George, Joel Embiid, 2023 MVP, and Tyrese Maxey. Philadelphia is already positioning itself as one of the big favorites for the upcoming season. Meanwhile, the Lakers had a quieter offseason. From last season's roster, D'Angelo Russell, Christian Wood, Cam Reddish, and Jackson Hayes decided to stay. Additionally, the team signed rookies Bronny James and Dalton Connect, completing the roster with 15 players. Rob Palinka, the Lakers' VP of Operations, explained during the rookies' introduction that the team was more cautious this year, mainly due to the new NBA collective bargaining agreement, which imposed stricter rules on teams hitting certain financial thresholds. He also made it clear, if the right deal comes along, we'll do whatever it takes. With some draft picks saved up until 2031, the Lakers still have room to maneuver and improve the roster in the future. But for now, it seems the management is playing it more strategically. Lakers Nation, the dream of seeing Paul George in the purple and gold almost came true, but the story of this offseason still holds promises. Will the Lakers surprise us in the market? Stay tuned, because there's still a lot that could happen this season.